Subscribe to my Patreon. Enjoy and support my art. In the world of fashion, few materials possess the enduring appeal and versatility of leather. From ancient civilizations to modern runways, leather clothing has captivated and inspired designers, enthusiasts, and consumers alike. Join us on a journey through the rich history and evolution of leather fashion, exploring its cultural significance, craftsmanship, and enduring allure. The story of leather clothing begins thousands of years ago in the cradle of civilization, where early humans discovered the durability and protective properties of animal hides. In ancient times, leather garments were worn primarily for practical purposes, providing warmth, protection from the elements, and a means of camouflage during hunting and warfare. The nomadic tribes of Eurasia fashioned leather garments from the hides of animals such as goats, sheep, and cattle, utilizing techniques such as tanning and dyeing to transform raw hides into supple and durable clothing. As civilizations flourished and trade routes expanded, leather clothing became more than just utilitarian attire. It became a symbol of status, power, and prestige. In ancient Egypt, leather was reserved for royalty and nobility, who adorned themselves in finely crafted garments embellished with gold, silver, and precious gemstones. Similarly, in ancient Rome, leather was prized for its strength and durability, making it the material of choice for gladiators, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. During the Middle Ages, leather clothing underwent a renaissance of sorts as knights and warriors embraced the protective qualities of leather armor. Suits of armor made from hardened leather provided a lightweight yet effective defense against swords, spears, and arrows, allowing warriors to move freely on the battlefield while still maintaining a formidable defense. Leather also found its way into everyday attire, with peasants and tradesmen wearing simple garments such as tunics, jerkins, and boots made from durable leather hides. The Renaissance era saw a resurgence of interest in leather clothing, as artists, scholars, and nobles embraced the ideals of humanism and individualism. Leather garments became more refined and tailored, reflecting the growing sophistication and elegance of Renaissance fashion. Noblemen wore intricately embroidered doublets and breeches made from fine leather, while women adorned themselves in sumptuous leather gowns and bodices adorned with lace, ribbons, and jewels. During the Industrial Revolution, Advancements in technology and manufacturing processes revolutionized the production of leather clothing, making it more accessible to people of all social classes. Mass production techniques such as the sewing machine and steam-powered looms enabled manufacturers to produce leather garments in larger quantities and at lower costs, leading to a democratization of fashion and an explosion of leather clothing styles and designs. In the 20th century, Leather clothing underwent a series of transformations as it became synonymous with rebellion, counterculture, and avant-garde fashion. In the 1950s and 1960s, leather jackets became emblematic of youth rebellion and anti-establishment sentiment, popularized by iconic figures such as Marlon Brando and James Dean in films like The Wild One and Rebel Without a Cause. The leather jacket, with its rugged masculinity and rebellious allure, became a symbol of defiance and nonconformity, worn by generations of rebels, rockers, and outlaws. In the 1970s and 1980s, leather fashion experienced a resurgence of popularity as designers and fashion houses embraced the edgy aesthetic of punk rock and new wave music. Leather trousers, skirts, and dresses adorned with studs, Spikes and chains became staples of the punk fashion movement, epitomizing the DIY ethos and anti-establishment ethos of the era. Similarly, in the world of high fashion, designers such as John Paul Gaultier and Thierry Mugler incorporated leather into their collections, creating bold and avant-garde looks that pushed the boundaries of traditional fashion norms. Today, Leather clothing continues to be a mainstay of fashion runways, street style, and everyday attire, 
with designers and consumers alike embracing its timeless appeal and versatility. From classic leather jackets and pants to contemporary leather dresses and jumpsuits, leather clothing offers endless possibilities for self-expression and individuality. And with advancements in sustainable and eco-friendly leather alternatives, such as vegan leather and lab-grown leather, the future of leather fashion looks brighter than ever, offering a sustainable and ethical option for fashion-conscious consumers. Subscribe to my Patreon. Enjoy and support my art. Welcome to a captivating exploration of the corset, a garment that has left an indelible mark on fashion, culture, and the female form throughout history. Join us as we delve into the rich tapestry of the corset's past, from its origins as a functional undergarment to its symbolic significance in the realms of beauty, power, and liberation. The story of the corset begins centuries ago tracing its roots to ancient civilizations such as Greece and Rome, where women adorned themselves with tightly laced bodices to enhance their figures and signify status. However, it was during the Renaissance era that the corset truly came into its own as an indispensable element of women's fashion. Made from stiffened fabrics such as whalebone or metal, these garments were designed to shape and support the torso, creating an exaggerated hourglass silhouette that was considered the epitome of beauty and femininity. As European society entered the 16th and 17th centuries, the popularity of the corset soared to new heights, with women from all walks of life embracing the garment as a symbol of refinement and elegance. Royal courts across Europe set the tone for fashion trends, with monarchs and aristocrats donning elaborate corsets adorned with intricate embroidery, lace, and precious jewels. The corset became not only a fashion statement, but also a marker of social status and wealth, reinforcing hierarchies and notions of femininity. During the 18th and 19th centuries, the Industrial Revolution brought about significant changes in the production and accessibility of corsets. Mass manufacturing techniques allowed for the production of corsets on a scale never seen before, making them more affordable and widely available to women of all social classes. The Victorian era, in particular, saw the proliferation of corsets as essential undergarments, worn by women from all walks of life to achieve the desired Harvlas figure prized by society. However, as the 19th century progressed, the corset came under increasing scrutiny for its impact on women's health and well-being. Critics pointed to the tight lacing and restrictive boning of corsets as contributing factors to a host of physical ailments, including difficulty breathing, digestive issues, and even deformities of the ribcage. The debate over the morality and safety of corsets became a central focus of feminist activism, with women's rights advocates such as Amelia Bloomer and Elizabeth Cady Stanton calling for the abolition of the garment as a symbol of patriarchal oppression. Despite these criticisms, the corset continued to hold sway over fashion and popular culture well into the 20th century. The Gibson girl, with her impossibly tiny waist and voluptuous curves, became the epitome of feminine beauty in the early 1900s, inspiring generations of women to cinch their waists in pursuit of the ideal silhouette. Hollywood starlets like Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor further perpetuated the allure of the Harvlas figure, cementing the corset's place in the annals of glamour and desire. In the latter half of the 20th century, however, attitudes towards the corset began to shift as women embraced more relaxed and naturalistic ideals of beauty. The feminist movement of the 1960s and 70s rejected the notion of the corset as a tool of oppression, advocating instead for self-acceptance and empowerment. The rise of ready-to-wear fashion and the proliferation of athleisure wear further marginalized the corset, relegating it to the realm of costume and historical reenactment. 
Today, the corset has experienced a resurgence in popularity, albeit in a more nuanced and inclusive form. Designers and brands are reimagining the corset as a symbol of strength, confidence, and self-expression, incorporating elements of comfort, flexibility, and body positivity into their designs. Corsets are no longer confined to the realm of lingerie or special occasions, but are embraced as statement pieces that celebrate the diversity and individuality of the modern woman. As our journey through the history of the corset comes to a close, we are reminded of its enduring legacy as both the symbol of beauty and constraint. From its origins in ancient civilizations to its evolution as a contentious symbol of femininity and power, the corset has captivated and divided opinions for centuries. And while its place in fashion may wax and wane, the corset remains a potent reminder of the complex interplay between tradition, culture, and identity in the ever-changing landscape of style and society. Subscribe to my Patreon. Enjoy and support my art. Step into the world of nighttime elegance as we explore the fascinating history and evolution of nightgowns. From their humble origins to their status as icons of comfort and style, nightgowns have played a central role in bedtime rituals and fashion trends throughout the ages. Nightgowns trace their roots back to ancient civilizations, where simple garments were worn for warmth and modesty during sleep. In ancient Greece and Rome, women draped themselves in loose-fitting tunics made from linen or cotton providing comfort and ease of movement as they rested after a long day's work. These early iterations of nightgowns set the stage for the evolution of sleepwear across cultures and centuries. As society evolved, so too did the concept of nightgowns, with styles and materials reflecting the cultural norms and fashion trends of the time. During the Renaissance era, nightgowns became more ornate and decorative, adorned with lace, embroidery, and ribbons to signify wealth and status. Women of noble birth wore luxurious nightgowns made from silk or satin, while commoners made do with simpler fabrics like wool or flannel. In the 18th and 19th centuries, nightgowns underwent further transformations with the advent of industrialization and advancements in textile manufacturing. The invention of the spinning jenny and power loom revolutionized the production of fabric, making it easier and more affordable to create garments for mass consumption. Nightgowns became more accessible to people of all social classes, with a wide range of styles and materials available to suit every taste and budget. During the Victorian era, nightgowns took on a more modest and demure aesthetic, reflecting the prevailing values of morality and propriety. Long, flowing gowns with high necklines and full sleeves were favored by respectable women, while shorter, more revealing styles were deemed inappropriate for polite society. Fabrics such as cotton muslin and batiste were popular choices for their lightweight and breathable properties, ensuring a comfortable night's sleep even in the stuffiest of bedrooms. In the early 20th century, the rise of the modern fashion industry brought about new innovations in nightgown design and construction. Designers such as Coco Chanel and Elsa Sfiaparelli introduced sleeker, more streamlined silhouettes that reflected the changing attitudes towards women's fashion and liberation. Silk and satin nightgowns became synonymous with luxury and glamour, worn by Hollywood starlets and socialites alike as they lounged in opulent boudoirs or sipped champagne at lavish soirees. As the 20th century progressed, nightgowns continued to evolve with the times, adapting to the shifting tastes and lifestyles of consumers. 
The rise of synthetic fabrics, such as nylon and polyester, brought about new possibilities in terms of comfort and durability, while innovations in printing and dyeing techniques allowed for a greater variety of colors and patterns. Nightgowns became more than just sleepwear. They were expressions of personal style and individuality, reflecting the desires and aspirations of the women who wore them. In the 21st century, Nightgowns have become more diverse and inclusive than ever before, with styles ranging from classic and timeless to modern and edgy. Designers are experimenting with innovative materials such as bamboo and modal, which offer superior softness and moisture-wicking properties for a more comfortable night's sleep. Sustainable and eco-friendly options are also gaining popularity, as consumers become more conscious of their environmental impact and seek out ethically sourced alternatives. As our journey through the history of nightgowns comes to a close, we are reminded of the enduring appeal and versatility of these beloved garments. From their humble beginnings as simple sleepwear to their status as symbols of comfort and style, nightgowns have stood the test of time, bringing joy and elegance to bedtime routines around the world. So the next time you slip into your favorite nightgown, take a moment to appreciate the rich history and timeless beauty of this beloved wardrobe staple. Subscribe to my Patreon. Enjoy and support my art. In the realm of fashion, few garments possess the timeless elegance and allure of gowns. From the regal splendor of ball gowns to the effortless grace of evening dresses, gowns have long been synonymous with sophistication, beauty, and extravagance. Join us on a journey through the world of gowns and the exquisite fabric materials that bring them to life. Gowns trace their origins back to ancient civilizations, where draped garments were worn by nobility and royalty as symbols of status and wealth. In ancient Greece, women adorned themselves in flowing robes made from luxurious fabrics like silk and chiffon, embellished with intricate embroidery and delicate bedwork. These garments, known as chitons and peplos, draped elegantly around the body, accentuating the wearer's silhouette and exuding an aura of grace and refinement. As civilizations flourished and trade routes expanded, new fabric materials such as silk, satin, and velvet found their way into the wardrobe of the elite. These sumptuous textiles, prized for their softness, sheen, and drape, became synonymous with luxury and opulence, transforming ordinary garments into works of art fit for royalty and aristocracy. During the Renaissance era, the art of dressmaking reached new heights of sophistication and craftsmanship. Gowns adorned with intricate lace, elaborate embroidery, and shimmering jewels became the epitome of high fashion, showcasing the skill and creativity of designers and seamstresses. The emergence of sumptuary laws, which regulated the types of fabrics and embellishments that could be worn by different social classes, further heightened the allure of luxurious textiles and elevated the status of those who could afford them. In the 18th and 19th centuries, gowns underwent a series of transformations as fashion trends evolved and societal norms shifted. The rise of the French couture houses, such as Chanel and Dior, revolutionized the world of fashion, introducing new silhouettes, cuts, and fabrics that redefined the concept of elegance and glamour. Silk taffeta, organza, and brocade became the fabrics of choice for elaborate ball gowns and evening dresses, while cotton muslin and calico were favored for more casual daywear. 
Throughout history, the choice of fabric has played a crucial role in defining the style and silhouette of a gown. Lightweight and flowing fabrics like chiffon and georgette are ideal for creating ethereal, romantic looks, while heavier fabrics such as velvet and brocade lend a sense of richness and drama to more formal designs. Stretch fabrics like jersey and spandex offer comfort and versatility, allowing for ease of movement and flattering fits. In the modern era, advancements in textile technology have expanded the range of fabric materials available to designers and consumers. Sustainable fabrics such as organic cotton, bamboo, and tensile are gaining popularity for their eco-friendly properties and luxurious feel. Recycled materials, including polyester made from recycled plastic bottles, are also being used to create innovative, environmentally conscious gowns that marry style with sustainability. As our journey through the world of gowns and fabric materials comes to a close, we are reminded of the enduring allure and significance of these elements in the realm of fashion. From ancient civilizations to modern-day couture, gowns have captivated and inspired with their timeless elegance and beauty. And behind every exquisite gown lies a story, woven from the finest fabric materials and crafted with passion and skill, creating garments that transcend time and place to become symbols of grace, refinement, and sophistication. Subscribe to my Patreon. Enjoy and support my art. In the world of fashion, few ensembles exude allure and sophistication quite like the combination of stockings, heels, and carefully chosen accessories. From the opulent courts of ancient civilizations to the bustling streets of modern metropolises, these elements have played a pivotal role in shaping notions of beauty, sensuality, and style. Let us embark on a journey through the history and symbolism of stockings, heels, and accessories, uncovering the secrets of their enduring appeal and timeless elegance. Our odyssey begins in ancient times, where evidence of lake coverings dates back to civilizations such as ancient Egypt and Greece. In these early societies, stockings served both practical and symbolic purposes, protecting the legs from the elements while also signifying social status and femininity. Woven from linen or silk, these early iterations laid the foundation for the hosiery we know today. Fast forward to the Renaissance era, and we find stockings taking center stage as a hallmark of aristocratic fashion. Made from luxurious fabrics such as silk and velvet, these garments were adorned with intricate embroidery and lace, reflecting the wealth and refinement of the European elite. Paired with elaborate gowns and sumptuous jewels, stockings became an essential component of courtly attire, symbolizing elegance, grace, and privilege. As we transition into the modern era, stockings undergo a transformation, evolving from handcrafted luxury items to mass-produced accessories accessible to women of all social classes. The invention of the knitting machine in the 18th century revolutionized the production of hosiery, 
making it more affordable and widely available. Women embraced stockings as a fashion statement, experimenting with different colors, patterns, and textures to express their individuality and style. Meanwhile, the emergence of high heels as a fashion staple further elevated the allure of stockings, creating a symbiotic relationship between the two elements. Originating in the courts of 16th century Europe, high heels were initially worn by men as a symbol of status and authority. However, it was not long before women adopted this trend, recognizing the transformative power of heels to elongate the legs and enhance posture. Throughout the centuries, heels have evolved in style and height, ranging from delicate kitten heels to towering stilettos, each design offering its own unique blend of elegance and allure. Paired with stockings, heels create a visually striking silhouette that accentuates the curves of the leg, imbuing the wearer with confidence and charisma. As fashion evolves, so too do the accessories that accompany stockings and heels, adding the finishing touches to a complete ensemble. From delicate garters and suspenders to statement jewelry and handbags, accessories play a crucial role in enhancing the overall aesthetic and narrative of an outfit. In the realm of lingerie, lace-trimmed garters serve as both functional and decorative elements, holding stockings in place while also adding a touch of femininity and allure. Paired with matching bras and panties, Garters create a cohesive lingerie set that exudes sensuality and sophistication. Beyond lingerie, accessories such as statement necklaces, earrings, and handbags can elevate a simple stocking and heel ensemble to new heights of glamour and sophistication. Whether adorned with sparkling gemstones or intricate beadwork, accessories add a touch of sparkle and personality to any outfit allowing the wearer to express their individual style and taste. In the world of high fashion, designers often incorporate stockings, heels, and accessories into their runway presentations as key components of their collections. From the sleek sophistication of a tailored suit paired with stiletto heels to the ethereal beauty of a flowing gown adorned with delicate stockings, these elements serve as the foundation upon which designers build their sartorial visions. As our journey comes to a close, we are reminded of the timeless allure and enduring appeal of stockings, heels, and accessories. From their ancient origins to their modern-day iterations, these elements continue to captivate and inspire, offering a glimpse into the rich tapestry of fashion history and culture. So the next time you slip into a pair of stockings, slide on a pair of heels, or adorn yourself with accessories, take a moment to appreciate the artistry and craftsmanship that goes into creating these timeless symbols of beauty and seduction. Subscribe to my Patreon. Enjoy and support my art. In the realm of attire, few garments possess the enduring allure and versatility of the robe. From ancient civilizations to modern-day fashion runways, robes have remained a symbol of comfort, elegance, and cultural significance. Embark with us on a journey through the rich tapestry of history and culture woven into the fabric of robes. Our voyage begins in the annals of antiquity, where robes first emerged as a staple garment across civilizations. In ancient Egypt, robes adorned with intricate patterns and symbolic motifs were worn by pharaohs and high-ranking officials, signifying power and prestige. These flowing garments, crafted from luxurious fabrics like linen and silk, not only provided respite from the desert heat, but also served as expressions of divine authority. 
Across the Mediterranean, the ancient Greeks draped themselves in chitons and hemations, precursor garments to the modern robe. These loose-fitting garments, often made from lightweight wool or linen, epitomized the ideals of democracy and freedom. Whether worn by philosophers in intellectual discourse or athletes competing in the Olympic Games, robes became synonymous with the spirit of classical Greece. Venturing eastward, we encounter the opulent robes of imperial China. Emperors and courtiers swathe themselves in sumptuous silk robes embellished with intricate embroidery and auspicious symbols. Each garment was a testament to the wealth and refinement of the Chinese dynasties, reflecting a harmonious blend of artistry and tradition. As we traverse continents and epochs, we find robes assuming diverse forms and functions in cultures around the world. In Japan, the kimono reigns supreme as a symbol of elegance and grace. Its simple yet sophisticated design, characterized by flowing sleeves and obi sashes, reflects the aesthetic sensibilities of Japanese art and craftsmanship. In the Middle East, the flowing robes known as jalabias and thoves serve as traditional attire, offering both comfort and modesty in the arid climates of the region. Worn by men and women alike, these garments embody the cultural heritage and values of the Arab world, rooted in hospitality, honor, and familial ties. In the Western world, robes have evolved from ceremonial garb to everyday attire, transcending gender and social boundaries. The dressing gown, once a symbol of leisure and luxury among the aristocracy, has found its place in contemporary fashion as a versatile garment for lounging at home or making a statement on the streets. In recent years, the robe has experienced a resurgence in popularity, fueled by its timeless appeal and adaptability to modern lifestyles. Designers and fashion houses have reimagined the classic silhouette, incorporating bold prints, innovative cuts, and sustainable materials to cater to the tastes of discerning consumers. Beyond the realm of fashion, Robes continue to play a role in rituals and ceremonies that mark life's milestones. From graduation ceremonies to religious rites of passage, robes symbolize transitions and transformations, serving as tangible reminders of our shared humanity and cultural heritage. In the realm of popular culture, robes have made their mark as iconic symbols of cinematic and literary imagination. Whether worn by wizards at Hogwarts or Jedi Knights in a galaxy far, far away, robes evoke a sense of mystique and adventure, transporting audiences to fantastical realms where anything is possible. As our journey draws to a close, we are reminded of the enduring legacy of robes as more than just garments, but as vessels of history, culture, and identity. Across time and space, Robes have woven themselves into the fabric of human experience, bridging continents and civilizations with their timeless elegance and universal appeal. So the next time you slip into a robe, take a moment to appreciate the stories it carries and the traditions it represents, a testament to the enduring power of clothing to shape our lives and narratives. Subscribe to my Patreon. Enjoy and support my art. As we step into the world of fashion, we find ourselves drawn to two timeless pieces, skirts and bodysuits. 
These wardrobe staples have transcended eras, evolving with each passing trend, yet maintaining their quintessential charm. Let's start with skirts, the epitome of femininity and versatility. From flowy maxis to sleek minis, skirts come in an array of styles to suit every mood and occasion. Whether you're twirling on the dance floor in a flared A-line or exuding sophistication in a pencil skirt at the office, skirts effortlessly capture the essence of elegance. But what truly sets a skirt apart is its ability to transform an outfit with a single swish. Pair it with a casual tee for an effortlessly chic daytime look, or elevate it with a silk blouse for a night out on the town. The possibilities are endless, making skirts a must-have in every woman's wardrobe. Now, let's turn our attention to bodysuits, the unsung heroes of modern fashion. Offering a seamless silhouette and unparalleled comfort, bodysuits have become a staple in both casual and formal attire. Whether you're layering them under a blazer for a polished office ensemble or pairing them with high-waisted jeans for a casual brunch date, bodysuits effortlessly elevate any outfit. But what truly sets bodysuits apart is their ability to enhance and flatter the natural curves of the body. With their form-fitting design and stretchy fabric, bodysuits provide a sleek and streamlined look that accentuates your best features. Plus, they eliminate the hassle of tucking in your shirt, ensuring a polished look all day long. As we explore the endless possibilities of skirts and bodysuits, we're reminded that fashion is not just about following trends, but about expressing ourselves and embracing our individuality. So whether you're twirling in a flowy skirt or feeling empowered in a sleek bodysuit, remember to wear it with confidence and let your style shine bright. Welcome to a world where elegance meets sophistication, where every thread weaves a tale of beauty and grace. Today, we delve into the realm of dresses and gowns, the epitome of timeless femininity and glamour. Dresses, with their effortless charm and versatility, are a symbol of style that transcends generations. From the classic little black dress to vibrant floral prints, Dresses have the power to capture the essence of any occasion. Whether you're slipping into a breezy sundress for a casual outing or donning a sleek cocktail dress for a night on the town, dresses effortlessly exude confidence and poise. But when the occasion calls for something truly extraordinary, gowns take center stage. With their sweeping silhouettes and intricate embellishments, gowns are the epitome of opulence and grandeur. From red carpet events to fairy tale weddings, gowns make a statement like no other garment can. Each stitch is a testament to craftsmanship, each bead a shimmering reflection of elegance. Yet, beyond their aesthetic appeal, dresses and gowns hold a deeper significance. They have the power to transform not only our outward appearance, but also our inner confidence. There's something magical about slipping into a gown and feeling like a princess, even if just for a moment. It's a reminder that we are capable of embracing our own beauty and standing tall in our own uniqueness. As we explore the myriad styles and designs of dresses and gowns, we're reminded that fashion is not just about what we wear, but how we wear it. It's about embracing our individuality and expressing ourselves with confidence and grace. So whether you're twirling in a flirty dress or gliding across the room in an exquisite gown, remember to wear it with pride and let your inner radiance shine through. Join us on this journey as we celebrate the timeless allure of dresses and gowns, where every thread tells a story and every stitch embodies the essence of elegance. Welcome to a world where dreams are woven into fabric and beauty knows no bounds.
Subscribe to my Patreon. Enjoy and support my art. Welcome to our exploration of skirts, one of the most iconic and versatile garments in the history of fashion. From ancient civilizations to contemporary runways, skirts have transcended time and culture, embodying the essence of femininity, style, and self-expression. The story of skirts begins in the mists of antiquity, where draped garments were worn by both men and women in societies across the globe. In ancient Mesopotamia, for example, men and women alike donned skirts made from wool or linen, providing comfort and ease of movement in the sweltering desert heat. Similarly, in ancient Egypt, skirts were a staple of everyday attire, with men wearing simple kilt-like garments and women adorning themselves in more elaborate, pleated skirts. As civilizations flourished and trade routes expanded, the art of skirt-making evolved, giving rise to a diverse array of styles, fabrics, and embellishments. In ancient Greece, women draped themselves in the peplos and chitin, elegant garments made from lightweight fabrics like silk and cotton, which gracefully skimmed the body and accentuated its natural curves. These early skirts were often adorned with intricate patterns and motifs, reflecting the aesthetic sensibilities of the time. In the Roman Empire, skirts continued to be a staple of fashion, with both men and women wearing variations of the toga and tunic. Women's skirts became more elaborate and ornate, featuring luxurious fabrics like silk and satin, as well as intricate embroidery and beadwork. Skirts were considered essential attire for formal occasions and religious ceremonies, symbolizing purity, modesty, and social status. As the Middle Ages dawned, skirts underwent a dramatic transformation with the emergence of the iconic garment known as the gown. Gowns were long, flowing garments worn by both men and women, typically made from rich fabrics like velvet, brocade, and damask. Women's gowns featured fitted bodices and voluminous skirts, often adorned with elaborate trains and embellishments, while men's gowns were more understated but equally elegant. During the Renaissance era, skirts reached new heights of opulence and extravagance, with women's fashion becoming increasingly elaborate and decorative. Skirts were made from sumptuous fabrics like silk and satin, embellished with lace, embroidery, and jewels. The farthingale, a hoop skirt worn underneath the gown, became a symbol of wealth and status, giving skirts their distinctive voluminous shape. In the 18th century, skirts underwent another evolution with the emergence of the robe à la Française and robe à l'anglaise, elegant gowns characterized by their fitted bodices and full skirts. These garments were made from luxurious fabrics like silk taffeta and brocade, often featuring elaborate drapery and decorative trimmings. Skirts became a canvas for artistic expression, with fashion plates and magazines showcasing the latest trends and styles. The 19th century brought about significant changes in skirt styles, with the rise of the crinoline and bustle. Crinolines were cage-like structures made from steel hoops or whalebone, worn underneath skirts to give them volume and shape. Bustles, on the other hand, were padded or structured underskirts that accentuated the curve of the hips and buttocks. These innovations revolutionized skirt fashion, allowing women to achieve dramatic silhouettes and exaggerated proportions. As the 20th century dawned, skirts became more streamlined and practical, reflecting the changing lifestyles and attitudes of women. The flapper style of the 1920s featured short, straight skirts that allowed for greater freedom of movement, while the new look of the 1950s reintroduced full skirts and cinched waists, evoking a sense of glamour and femininity. In the latter half of the 20th century, skirts continued to evolve with the rise of youth culture and the influence of popular music and media. Mini skirts became a symbol of rebellion and liberation in the swinging 60s, while the bohemian styles of the 70s embraced flowing maxi skirts and peasant skirts. In the 1980s and 1990s, skirts became more eclectic and diverse, 
with designers experimenting with bold colors, prints, and textures to create statement-making looks. Today, skirts remain a staple of fashion with endless variations and interpretations to suit every taste and occasion. From classic A-line skirts to trendy midi and maxi skirts, there is a style to flatter every figure and express every personality. Skirts continue to evolve with the times, reflecting the ever-changing landscape of fashion and society, while remaining a timeless emblem of femininity, elegance, and self-expression. Welcome to our exploration of blouses, one of the most versatile and essential pieces in any woman's wardrobe. From casual chic to professional polish, blouses offer endless possibilities for style and expression, making them a staple in fashion for centuries. The history of blouses traces back to the 19th century, when women began seeking alternatives to the restrictive and impractical garments of the Victorian era. Blouses emerged as a comfortable and practical option, typically made from lightweight fabrics like cotton or linen, and featuring loose-fitting silhouettes with billowy sleeves. These early blouses were often embellished with delicate lace or embroidery, adding a touch of femininity to the otherwise simple design. As the 20th century dawned, blouses evolved to reflect the changing fashions and social norms of the time. In the 1920s, the flapper style ushered in a new era of liberation and freedom, with blouses becoming more tailored and streamlined to complement the boyish silhouette popularized by the decade. Women embraced blouses with collars and cuffs, often paired with high-waisted skirts or trousers for a sophisticated yet relaxed look. During the 1940s and 1950s, blouses took on a more feminine and structured aesthetic inspired by the glamorous Hollywood starlets of the era. Blouses were often tailored to accentuate the waist and enhance the curves of the body, with features like darts and princess seams adding shaping and definition. Silk and satin blouses became popular choices for evening wear, exuding an air of elegance and sophistication. The 1960s brought about a revolution in fashion, with blouses becoming more experimental and avant-garde. Women embraced bold prints, psychedelic patterns, and unconventional fabrics, rejecting the traditional notions of femininity and propriety. Blouses with exaggerated collars, ruffled sleeves, and tie-neck details became iconic symbols of the era, reflecting the spirit of rebellion and individualism that defined the decade. In the 1970s, blouses underwent another transformation with the rise of the bohemian style. Flowy peasant blouses made from lightweight fabrics like cotton gauze or chiffon became a wardrobe staple for free-spirited women, offering comfort and ease of movement while exuding a laid-back, carefree vibe. Embroidery, crochet, and fringe details added a touch of bohemian flair to these relaxed yet stylish garments. The 1980s brought about a return to glamour and excess, with blouses becoming more dramatic and opulent. Shoulder pads, sequins, and metallic fabrics were all the rage, adding a touch of drama and flair to blouses worn for both day and evening. Women embraced power dressing, with blouses serving as a key component of the bold and assertive looks favored by career-oriented professionals. In the 1990s and early 2000s, blouses underwent a period of minimalism and understatement, reflecting the prevailing trends of the time. Simple, classic styles like the button-down blouse and silk camisole became wardrobe staples for Welcome to our exploration of blouses, 
one of the most versatile and essential pieces in any woman's wardrobe. From casual chic to professional polish, blouses offer endless possibilities for style and expression, making them a staple in fashion for centuries. The history of blouses traces back to the 19th century, when women began seeking alternatives to the restrictive and impractical garments of the Victorian era. Blouses emerged as a comfortable and practical option, typically made from lightweight fabrics like cotton or linen, and featuring loose-fitting silhouettes with billowy sleeves. These early blouses were often embellished with delicate lace or embroidery, adding a touch of femininity to the otherwise simple design. As the 20th century dawned, blouses evolved to reflect the changing fashions and social norms of the time. In the 1920s, the flapper style ushered in a new era of liberation and freedom, with blouses becoming more tailored and streamlined to complement the boyish silhouette popularized by the decade. Women embraced blouses with Welcome to our exploration of bodysuits, one of the most versatile and flattering garments in modern fashion. From sleek and sexy to practical and functional, bodysuits have become a wardrobe essential for women of all ages and body types, offering endless possibilities for style and expression. The history of bodysuits can be traced back to the early 20th century, when dancers and performers began wearing form-fitting leotards as part of their stage costumes. These early bodysuits were designed to hug the body's curves and provide maximum freedom of movement, making them ideal for performers who needed to execute intricate choreography with ease and grace. As the 20th century progressed, bodysuits evolved from a performance staple to a fashion statement, with designers embracing their sleek and streamlined silhouette. In the 1970s and 1980s, bodysuits became synonymous with disco glamour and athletic chic, worn by fashion icons like Cher and Jane Fonda as they danced the night away in Studio 54 or sweated it out in aerobics class. In the 1990s, bodysuits experienced a resurgence in popularity thanks to the rise of pop culture icons like Madonna and Britney Spears, who embraced the garment as a symbol of femininity and empowerment. Bodysuits were often paired with low-rise jeans or skirts, creating a daring yet effortlessly sexy look that captured the spirit of the era. Today, bodysuits are a wardrobe staple for women of all ages and lifestyles, offering a flattering and versatile option for any occasion. Whether worn as a standalone piece or layered under a blazer or sweater, Bodysuits add polish and sophistication to any outfit, while also providing a streamlined silhouette that enhances the body's natural curves. One of the key benefits of bodysuits is their ability to create a seamless and polished look, eliminating the need to constantly tuck in shirts or adjust layers throughout the day. The snug fit of bodysuits ensures that they stay in place, providing a sleek and streamlined silhouette that flatters the figure and accentuates the waistline. Bodysuits come in a variety of styles and fabrics to suit every taste and occasion. From basic cotton tank tops to glamorous sequin embellished bodysuits, there is a style to suit every mood and personality. High neck, low back, off the shoulder, and halter neck bodysuits offer endless options for neckline and sleeve styles, allowing women to customize their look to suit their individual preferences. 
In addition to their style versatility, bodysuits are also incredibly practical and functional. They provide an extra layer of warmth and coverage in cooler weather, while also serving as a lightweight and breathable option for hot summer days. Many bodysuits also feature built-in brass or underwire support, providing added comfort and support for women of all bust sizes. Another advantage of bodysuits is their versatility when it comes to styling options. They can be dressed up or down with ease, making them a go-to choice for everything from casual weekend brunches to formal evening events. Pair a simple black bodysuit with jeans and sneakers for a chic off-duty look, or layer a lace-trimmed bodysuit under a blazer and trousers for a Welcome to our exploration of bodysuits, one of the most versatile and flattering garments in modern fashion. From sleek and sexy to practical and functional, bodysuits have become a wardrobe essential for women of all ages and body types, offering endless possibilities for style and expression. The history of bodysuits can be traced back to the early 20th century, when dancers and performers began wearing form-fitting leotards as part of their stage costumes. These early bodysuits were designed to hug the body's curves and provide maximum freedom of movement, making them ideal for performers who needed to execute intricate choreography with ease and grace. As the 20th century progressed, bodysuits evolved from a performance staple to a fashion statement, with designers embracing their sleek and streamlined silhouette. In the 1970s and 1980s, bodysuits became synonymous with disco glamour and athletic chic, worn by fashion icons like Cher and Jane F Welcome to our exploration of swimsuits and bikinis, two iconic garments that have shaped beach fashion and culture for decades. From their humble beginnings to their status as symbols of leisure and liberation, swimsuits and bikinis have captured the imagination of fashion enthusiasts and beachgoers around the world. The history of swimsuits can be traced back to ancient civilizations, where garments resembling modern-day swimsuits were worn for swimming and bathing. In ancient Greece and Rome, for example, both men and women donned simple tunics or loincloths made from linen or wool when bathing in public baths or natural bodies of water. These early swimsuits were more functional than fashionable, designed to provide coverage and modesty rather than make a style statement. Fast forward to the 19th century, and swimsuits began to resemble the garments we recognize today. As seaside resorts gained popularity and swimming became a popular recreational activity, designers began creating specialized swimwear made from lightweight fabrics like wool or cotton. These early swimsuits typically featured modest silhouettes with high necklines and knee-length hems, reflecting the conservative values of the time. In the early 20th century, Swimsuits underwent a dramatic transformation with the introduction of the two-piece swimsuit, known as the bikini. The bikini was invented by French designer Louis Rard in 1946 and was named after the Bikini Atoll, the site of atomic bomb testing in the Pacific Ocean. The bikini caused a sensation when it was first introduced, with its daring design featuring a bray-style top and brief-style bottoms that exposed the midriff. The bikini was initially met with skepticism and resistance from conservative society, but it soon gained popularity among daring fashionistas and Hollywood starlets. Actresses like Bridget Bardot and Marilyn Monroe helped popularize the bikini, wearing it both on screen and off, and cementing its status as a symbol of glamour and allure. In the decades that followed, the bikini continued to evolve, with designers experimenting with different cuts, styles, and materials to suit changing tastes and trends. The 1960s saw the rise of the mod bikini, with bold prints, psychedelic patterns, and geometric shapes dominating swimwear fashion. 
The 1970s brought about a return to nature-inspired designs with earthy tones, floral prints, and crochet details evoking a sense of bohemian chic. In the 1980s and 1990s, swimwear fashion became more daring and experimental, with high-cut bottoms, plunging necklines and metallic fabrics dominating the scene. Supermodels like Cindy Crawford and Naomi Campbells strutted down the catwalk in skimpy bikinis, exuding confidence and sex appeal. The 2000s saw a resurgence of retro-inspired swimwear, with vintage-inspired silhouettes and pin-up curl prints making a comeback. Today, swimsuits and bikinis come in a wide range of styles, shapes, and sizes to suit every body type and personal preference. From classic one-piece swimsuits to trendy high-waisted bikinis, there is a style to flatter every figure and express. Welcome to our exploration of swimsuits and bikinis, two iconic garments that have shaped beach fashion and culture for decades. From their humble beginnings to their status as symbols of leisure and liberation, swimsuits and bikinis have captured the imagination of fashion enthusiasts and beachgoers around the world. The history of swimsuits can be traced back to ancient civilizations, where garments resembling modern-day swimsuits were worn for swimming and bathing. In ancient Greece and Rome, for example, both men and women donned simple tunics or loincloths made from linen or wool when bathing in public baths or natural bodies of water. These early swimsuits were more functional than fashionable, designed to provide coverage and modesty rather than make a style statement. Fast forward to the 19th century, and swimsuits began to resemble the garments we recognize today. As seaside resorts gained popularity and swimming became a popular recreational activity, designers began creating specialized swimwear made from lightweight fabrics like wool or cotton. These early swimsuits typically featured modest silhouettes Welcome to our exploration of dresses, skirts, and t-shirts, three iconic garments that have shaped the landscape of fashion for generations. From their humble beginnings to their status as wardrobe essentials, dresses, skirts, and t-shirts have captured the imagination of designers and fashion enthusiasts alike, offering endless possibilities for style and self-expression. Let's start with dresses, the epitome of femininity and versatility in fashion. Dresses have been worn by women for centuries, serving as symbols of elegance, sophistication, and grace. From flowing maxi dresses to tailored sheath dresses, there is a style to suit every occasion and mood. In ancient civilizations, dresses were often draped or wrapped around the body, providing coverage and protection while also allowing for ease of movement. As fashion evolved, dresses became more structured and tailored, with designers experimenting with different cuts, fabrics, and embellishments to create unique and memorable designs. Skirts, on the other hand, offer a more relaxed and casual option for women seeking comfort and style. From the classic A-line skirt to the trendy midi and maxi skirts, there is a skirt to suit every taste and body type. Skirts can be dressed up or down with ease, making them a versatile option for any occasion. Pair a denim skirt with a graphic t-shirt for a chic and laid-back look, or style a pleated midi skirt with a blouse and heels for a polished office ensemble. With endless styling options and a timeless appeal, skirts have become a wardrobe staple for women of all ages and lifestyles. And then there's the humble t-shirt, a garment that transcends time, trends, and cultural boundaries. Originally worn as an undergarment, the t-shirt has evolved into a symbol of casual cool and effortless style.
From classic crew necks to trendy cropped styles, t-shirts come in a variety of cuts, colors, and prints to suit every taste and personality. Graphic t-shirts featuring bold slogans, band logos, and artistic designs have become a popular choice for women looking to make a statement with their fashion choices. Pair a graphic t-shirt with jeans and sneakers for a casual weekend look, or layer it under a blazer for a chic and edgy twist on office attire. With their versatility and comfort, t-shirts have become a wardrobe essential for women of all ages and backgrounds. What ties dresses, skirts, and t-shirts together is their ability to empower and inspire women to embrace their individuality and express themselves through fashion. Whether you prefer the timeless elegance of a dress, the laid-back vibe of a skirt, or the casual cool of a t-shirt, there is a style out there for you. Fashion is not just about following trends. It's about finding pieces that make you feel confident, comfortable, and true to yourself. In conclusion, dresses, skirts, and t-shirts are more than just garments. They are symbols of self-expression, empowerment, and freedom. They offer women the opportunity to showcase their unique sense of style and personality, whether they're dressing up for a special occasion or keeping it casual for everyday wear. So the next time you're getting dressed, don't just think about what's trendy or fashionable. Think about what makes you feel confident and beautiful. After all, fashion is not just about what you wear. It's about how you wear it and the confidence and attitude you bring to it. Subscribe to my Patreon, enjoy and support my art.